Guys, I flew for a here. Um, about to do a little Facebook Marketplace pickup. Uh, supposed to be a brand new in the box Lego Money Talking for 60 bucks. So we'll see. It'd be nice. But, I don't know. Hey, all. Well, that worked out well. Um, let's check this out. Looks pretty good, huh? Unopened. Not too bad, huh? Uh, let me get home and see what this comp's at. Oh, I get home. Hey, also, let's see what this. I guess that comp's at. Not such a bad pickup for 60 bucks, huh? Not too bad. Look, open bags. Jesus. Dang. Heading to 10. That's at least 200 bucks. Honestly. It's looking like we can probably get a little more. If we hold out. Not too bad, huh? Hey guys, Facebook Marketplace is just on fire today. Um, about to go take a little short walk from the house, go to 7-Eleven, grab a couple more things. Um, what do we got? We got uh, an algebra textbook for 10 bucks. Um, and... We're paying 40 for some Xbox 360 and Super Nintendo games. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you what I got here in a minute. Hey folks, so we got the Algebra book. Here that is. And let's look at what that's going for. Alright, so we paid 10 bucks for this book. Stand the barcode there. That'd be the new price, so you definitely want to look down and see what it's going for. Use. Um. Looks like we're looking at a low price of 71. Is it acceptable? Good, good, good. Yeah, so, I mean, look at at least, at least 100 bucks on that. And then I believe the sales rank is really good. Um, let's check out what we got on that. Yeah. Okay, so, 40,000, that's not, not incredible, but it's more than good enough for 10 bucks to 100. It should sell within, eh, I don't know. Two, three weeks. Uh, just got home these games. Um, <laughs> this is a good deal. So we paid 40 bucks for this whole box. Check it out. So that's what we got. Final Fantasy. This is, I believe, the limited edition. Yeah, it is. It's the limited edition. Let's go to good. Final Fantasy 13. Hardcover. Pretty cool. That was actually thrown in free, by the way, on the deal. Uh, Halo 3, 360. So there's a bunch of 360 games and a bunch of uh, Super Nintendo games. Paid 40 bucks total. Battlefield 3 Limited Edition. Grand Theft Auto 4. Saints Row 2. Call of Duty. Saints Row 3rd. And your Gaiden 2, Gaiden, is a Gaiden 2. Um, it's like the Bioshock Ultimate Rapture Edition. Bioshock 1 and 2, bonus content. Pretty sweet. Uh, another special edition, this is a Prototype 2 Black Watch Collector's Edition. Pretty cool. Um, Halo 2. 
the original Xbox, but this is indeed Halo Reach. Metro Last Light. And Justice Gods Among Us. Halo. Anniversary Edition. Fall in New Vegas. Looks like Arkham Origins. There's Final Fantasy 13 to go with the guide. Superman the Man of Steel for Xbox. Fable 2. Superman Returns for 360. Super Nintendo games with Pile of Wings. Donkey Kong Country 2. Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Punch Out, Super Mario All Stars, Lion King, Super Tennis, Mortal Kombat. Power 2000, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Earthworm Gym 2, Jeez. Pinball, Super Pinball Behind the Mask, Super Mario World, Pinball Dreams and Animaniacs. Alright, I'm gonna go through and make sure everything's here and then we'll see what all this comes. So after a good couple hours testing games and everything, everything looks good, everything's clean and stuff. Um comped out everything. The 360 game's kinda disappointing. Not a whole lot of great stuff, um, you know, a couple $15 games, stuff like that, um, but quantity kind of made up for it, um, so in all told, we ended up with about 100 bucks, a little more, maybe a little more than that, like 110 or so profit on the 360 games by themselves. Um, the Super Nintendo games definitely made up for whatever disappointment I had about the 360 games, because they were awesome. Um... Well, let me show you the house real quick. So yeah, like I said, 360 games weren't great, but the book did okay. The Final Fantasy Strategy Guide, not too bad. Um, and then, like I said, a few $14, $15 games. Um, I'm not going to go through every game with you here because there's a ton, but uh, I'll just take a quick look. Unless I want to get to the uh, Super Nintendo games. But yeah, you know, like I said, quantity definitely makes up for it in, in this case. And they'll sell. Uh, games are selling good still right now because of lockdown and stuff. So maybe the Super Nintendo games, which I'll just show you a few of the comps. <laughs> Zelda, of course, good. And everything worked well. Looks like they're really well taken care of, so that's definitely a plus. Mortal Kombat should do well. Probably a lot of them up. Um, probably, yeah, I'm thinking like 60 or so on all three. Uh, Punch Out was a good one that I didn't know sold for decent money. Um, Super Mario World, of course. Donkey Kong Country 2. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby at all. So, all told, the profit on the Super Nintendo games alone was conservatively $265 plus. Um, 
which means on the games in total, that's a total profit. It's profit, so after our cost of $370 on the conservative side, which is pretty awesome for $40 spent. Or I think so, at least. So, yeah, just to recap, I got all this on Facebook Marketplace in less than one hour for a grand total of $110. And after all said and done, I should make minimum $600 profit on all this. Not too bad, huh? Thanks, guys. And yeah, it's my first try at this, so if you could like and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. Um, I'm try to put out some more content for you soon. And don't sleep on those Facebook Marketplace deals. There's good stuff out there. Thanks, guys.